Welcome to this lecture on Secure Hybrid Cloud. So here we see an overall scenario where on the right hand side you have a user trying to access some applications running in Oracle Cloud infrastructure in a specific region. And as you can see, there are multiple levels of security and checks uh, that are deployed here. Uh, you have author authoritative DNS with internet intelligence, uh, automated de and denial of service protection, web access firewall with proactive threat detection and multi-layer uh, protection that is provided to applications that are running in this specific OCI region. Then we have the internet gateway. And after the internet gateway, we have subnet level virtual firewall where we have security list rules which could be stateless or stateful to provide an additional layer of security for applications that are running in this specific uh, region across multiple ADs and across in this specific virtual cloud network. And then looking at on the left hand side, uh, we can see uh, a customer is trying to connect an on-premise network to OCI region. In this case, there are two options available for customer to create a secure hybrid cloud uh, connectivity. The first one is Fast Connect. This is a dedicated private connection. So the customer has their own private connection. It's not shared by anybody else. It provides uh, redundancy. It provides very, very uh, fast uh, speeds uh, as, they, as customer connects from their private data center to Oracle Public Cloud. So Fast Connect is inherently secure since it's a dedicated private connection and nobody else has access to it. The second option is to use public internet. And for that, Oracle provides IPsec VPN connectivity. So in case of IPsec VPN, where traffic is traversing over the public internet, a tunnel established and traffic is encrypted. So you can see there are two options in terms of providing secure connectivity for a hybrid cloud implementation for a customer. So what about support for existing customer security assets? So in terms of identity federation, OCI supports SAML 2.0 based identity federation via IDCS and ID. OCI and Oracle is also collaborating with various uh, third-party security vendors to bring their solutions on board. And these solutions are available in marketplace and that list is constantly updated. So OCI also provides customer penetration and vulnerability testing where customers can perform uh, these kind of tests to ensure their infrastructure and services are secure. Oracle also regularly performs these kind of tests and security assessment. Again, Oracle Cloud infrastructure, platforms and applications. And these tests are uh, mainly intended to validate and improve the overall security of Oracle Cloud services. One exception here is that Oracle does not assess or test any components. So these components will include non-Oracle applications, non-Oracle database, or other non-Oracle software code or data. So customers can request uh, this kind of testing as well through contacting Oracle support. In the next section, we will cover high availability for Oracle Cloud infrastructure. In the next lecture, we'll look at high availability in Oracle Cloud infrastructure.